Hello viewers, welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, six problems I have completed on computing the income from house property. Now in this video, seventh and eighth, two more problems I'm going to explain you. I already told you that uh, the computation of income from house property is comparatively easier than computing the income from salary. So many provisions are there in salary. But house property, the format is very, very simple. First, you have to calculate the gross annual value. The GA will be calculated by taking into account the municipal rental value, fair rental value, actual rental value, and the standard rental value. Standard rental value will be given when the house is governed by Rent Control Act. If standard rent is not given in the problem, simply it means the house is not governed by Rent Control Act. Now, before starting <clears throat> the seventh problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points written on the board, then I'll explain every point in detail. Now, see the seventh problem, problem number seven. See, P.S. Reddy is the owner of a house property consisting of building open land for car parking and kitchen garden. That means complete house property is there in which we have a uh, building, we have open, car, open land for car parking and kitchen garden. That means we have to separately calculate the income from house property of the building and income from house property of the open land. Uh, the building is let out for residential purpose on a monthly rent of 18,000. This is the actual rent. Municipal valuation MRV is 1,80,000. Rent for similar building is 20,000 per month. This is the FRV. Fair rental value is the rental value of the similar building in the same locality. Now the open land is let out on a monthly rent of 5,000 to run a car parking business. So we have to calculate separately the rent from open land then during the previous year the house was vacant for one month this is the new point during the complete 12 months period one month the house property was completely vacant building was vacant the rate of municipal tax is 15 percent this 15 percent will be calculated on mrv on municipal rental value we have to calculate municipal taxes he constructed the house by raising a loan from HDFC and interest paid during the year 12% on the outstanding amount of 2 lakh rupees. So interest on loan pay taken to purchase the house to construct the house will be allowed as deduction under section 24B. So here 12% of 2 lakh, 24,000 will be allowed. The other expense are fire insurance premium ignore. Collection charges ignore, repair ignore, ground rent ignore, brokerage paid to raise the loan ignore. Income tax access from the assessment year 2000 to 2003 onwards. No deduction will be allowed for all these expenses. These were deductions allowed before 2000 to 2003 assessment year. But afterwards only two deductions are available. Standard deduction and interest on loan. All these repair, collection charges, ground rent, insurance premium, brokerage paid to raise the loan will not be allowed as deduction under section 24. So this point you have to write in note. In working note, simply write a note that no deductions are allowed. That's it. Compute income from house property. The only new point in this problem is the house was vacant for one month period. So in this case, the vacancy period should be deducted. The vacancy period should be deducted. How to compute? Compute uh, computation of income from house property of Mr. P.S. Reddy for the assessment year 2020. Building. First we calculate the building. Gross annual value minus municipal taxes. We get net annual value. Deductions under section 24, standard section 24A, that is 30% of NAV and interest on loan taken under section 24B then we'll get income from house program. Simple procedure, already so many problems we have done. The only thing is we have to be careful regarding the calculation of GAV, gross annual value. 
in this problem the house remained vacant for one month for that purpose we follow these steps step number one calculating erv expected rental value always remember expected rental value is higher the following two mrv frv municipal rental value fair rental value so mrv is given 1 lakh 80 thousand directly frv is given 20 thousand per month so 20 20 thousand into 12 2 lakh 40 thousand whichever is higher is the erv right now second step calculating the arv actual rental value the arv for the full year 12 months monthly rent is 18000 it is given in the problem into 12 2 lakh 16000 is the arv but there is a vacancy period of one month so vacancy period rent will be deducted from arv to get adjusted arv so here adjusted calculating the adjusted arv so what is adjusted arv actual arv minus vacancy period rent vacancy period rent the so actual arv is 2 lakh 16000 one month it was vacant no rent is received so minus 18000 so 1 lakh 98000 is the adjusted arv now income tax one rule is given if the adjusted arv is less then ERV due to vacancy then adjusted ERV is the GAV adjusted ERV is the GAV here adjusted ARV is 1 lakh 98,000 whereas uh, ERV is 2 lakh 40,000 so what do you observe adjusted ARV is less than ERV on account of vacancy this is happening on account of vacancy period that's why adjusted arv is the gav so since adjusted arv is less than erv due to vacancy so gav is equal to adjusted arv that is 1 lakh 98 thousand normally we'll take the higher but here adjusted arv is less so we take adjusted arv as gav now gross annual value gav 1 lakh 98 thousand we got it here minus municipal taxes given in the problem 27,000 it is given percentage I think yes 15 percent 15 percent of 1 lakh 80 thousand so you can write it down here 15 percent of 1 lakh 80 thousand so you will get 27,000 so 27,000 is the municipal taxes deduct will get NAV 1 lakh 71,000 is the net annual value from this deduction standard deduction under section 24a 30 percent so 30 percent of NAV so it comes to 51,300 so interest on loan taken to construct the house 12 percent of 2 lakh rupees given 24,000 take the total 75,300 deduct will get 95,700 as the income from house property building part because the house property consists of building and some land attached to that building with the land was separately given on rent this is the building part now we are coming to the land part which is given for parking car parking place so here income from house property open land if the land is not attached to the building if a person is having only open land in that case the rent received from open land is taxable under income from other sources but here this land is attached to the house property that's why it is taxable under income from house property land open land gross annual value the land was let out at rupees 5000 per month into 12 60000 there is no municipal valuation for uh, land, no uh, fair rental value, MRV is not given, FRV is not given, nothing is given. So only actual rent is given. That is 5000 per month. That itself is the GAV. Minus municipal taxes, no municipal taxes are given for open land. 60,000. Standard deduction under section 24, 30% of NAV. That comes to 18,000. Deduct 42,000. There is no interest on loan only standardization so income from house property 42,000 from open land so we have computed income from house property of the building and also income from house property from the 
open land. That's it. So now the open land is part of the house property. So separate computation has to be made for income from open land. And lastly, no deductions are given for all expenses like insurance, collection charges, repairs, ground rent and brokerage paid to raise the loan. That's it. So this is the end of problem number seventh. Now, eighth problem. On 2nd April 2021, actually our previous year begins from 1st April 2021 and ends on 31st March 2022. So at the beginning of the previous year, Mr. Kiran purchased a residential house in Bidar for 27 lakhs and it took a loan of 18 lakh from Karnataka Housing Corporation at 9%. So the SSC has purchased a house by taking a loan. So interest on loan taken to purchase the house will be allowed as deduction uh, under section 24B. The loan amount 18 lakh, rate of interest 9%, so 9% of 18 lakh. Compute the income from house property for the current assessment year. The municipality has fixed the value at 98,000. Municipal rental value, MRV 98,000. Fair rental value, FRV is 1,5,000. He has let out the house for residential purpose. During the previous year, the house was vacant for two months. That means again, just like the previous problem, now also we have the vacancy period. So we have to calculate the adjusted ARV. Actual ARV minus rent of vacancy period. Two months vacancy period. The following expenses he has paid, repair, ignore, ground rent, ignore, municipal taxes 4,500 allowed. Municipal taxes will be allowed as reduction from GM. Then collection charges, ignore. Interest on loan is due but not paid. One point you remember, municipal taxes, if it is paid, then only it will be allowed. If municipal taxes are due but not paid, not allowed. Whereas interest on loan, whether paid or due, it is fully allowed as deduction. Even if the SSC has not paid the interest, still interest on loan will be allowed as deduction. So here last point, interest on loan is due but not paid, we will allow it. In working note, we should write down that according to the provisions of Income Tax Act, even if the interest is due, it is allowed. Actual rent received during the year 1,80,000. Actual rent received 1,80,000. That means the house was vacant for two months. So out of 12 months, two months the house was vacant, no rent. So actual rent received 1,80,000 is for 10 months. For 10 months, 1,80,000. So per month it comes to 18,000. 1,80,000 divided by 10. 18,000 per month is the rent. That's it. Now, computation of income from house property of Mr. Kiran for the assessment here. Gross annual value, less municipal taxes, NAV, less deductions under section 24. Standard action 24, 30% of NAV, interest on loan taken to purchase to purchase the house. In income from house property. Now, calculating ERV. Whenever there is a vacancy period in that case, you must calculate adjusted ARV. You have to calculate adjusted ARV. So the steps to be followed, first step calculate the ERV, which is higher of the following two, MRV, FRV. So MRV 98,000, FRV 1,5,000, whichever is higher is the ERV, 1,5,000 is the ERV. Second, uh, ARV. For calculating ARV, rent received for 10 months 1,80,000. So therefore monthly rent is 1,80,000 divided by 10, 18,000 per month. So rent for full year, 12 months rent. So rent for 12 months period, 18,000 into 12, 2,16,000 for one year. But adjusted ARV, adjusted ARV is equal to ARV minus rent of vacancy period. So ARV minus rent of vacancy period, 12 months rent. GAV is equal to adjusted ARV, right? Since adjusted ARV is uh, less, is more than, more than ERV due to vacancy. Hence, adjusted ARV is GAV. Now, remember one point. Previous problem, adjusted ARV was less than EAV. Than EAV. 
then in that case we have taken adjusted ARV as the GAV but in this problem the adjusted ARV 180,000 is more than the ERV than the ERV still income tax act says whichever is higher should be taken whichever should be higher should be taken that means here 1 lakh 5000 and here 1 lakh 80000 so 1 lakh 80000 is the GAV gross annual value municipal taxes given in the problem 4500 deduct 1 lakh 75 500 now standard deduction 30 percent of NAV 50 to 650 and interest on loan 9 percent of 18 lakh you get 1 lakh 62,000. So total of deductions 214,650. So 175,500 minus 214,650. You are getting negative value. Minus. Minus 39,150. That is loss. Positive profit. Negative loss. So loss from house property 39,150. Here interest on loan is allowed as deduction because loan is taken for purchasing. The loan is taken on 2nd April 2021. Interest for one year is 18 lakh into 9 percent, 1 lakh 64. And one provision you have to remember and write it in the working note also that interest will be allowed as deduction even if it is due. If it is not paid, also interest will be allowed as deduction under section 24b. That's all. So, in this video, two problems I have explained that is 7th and 8th. Inshallah, we will continue the next problem in the next video.